The best thing to do with Nicola Sturgeon is ignore her. I think she's... An absolute no to another independence referendum no, whenever you no, are Prime no. Minister. There you are. Scotland is a nation within the UK, with its own parliament and elected government. Like the Welsh government, the Scottish government believes that the UK is a voluntary association of nations, where the wishes expressed by the people of Scotland in elections should be respected. Having our own parliament has allowed the people of Scotland to make decisions, like introducing free personal care, ending prescription charges, ending dental charges, keeping university tuition free and keeping our NHS in public hands. Families on low incomes have been helped through the cost of living crisis with measures like the Scottish Child Payment, the Baby Box, period products free of charge for anyone who needs them and free bus travel for those under 22 or 60 and over. This year, most Scottish taxpayers paid less income tax than they would if they lived elsewhere in the UK. But powers to tackle the cost of living crisis are reserved at Westminster. Scotland has not voted for the Tories at Westminster for over 70 years, but we've been governed by them anyway for the majority of that time. Under the current system, it is still only the UK's government and parliament that can make decisions about many issues that affect all of us every day. On defence, for example, or whether Scotland should be in the EU. Westminster also has control of key energy policies, such as managing the money raised through oil and gas and levels of support for renewable projects. The UK government makes the vast majority of decisions on borrowing or increasing tax, on pensions and on benefits like universal credit. And they set Scotland's budget. Many of their decisions have had long-term damaging effects on the people who live in Scotland. Westminster squandered Scotland's North Sea oil revenues. If they'd invested it in a fund, that fund could now be worth over £500 billion, around three times Scotland's annual national income. And this could have been used to supercharge our just transition to renewables. Scotland has been dragged out of the EU when it voted to remain and the UK government's Brexit deal is making it much harder for Scots to travel, work, trade and do business in EU countries. In the long term it is the case that Brexit has a bigger impact on the pandemic uh, over the long term. The Westminster government has refused to give powers over migration to Scotland, imposing a hostile environment despite Scotland needing more people of working age. The Tories have used Brexit to launch a power grab in Scotland. And both Tories and Labour back a damaging hard Brexit against the wishes of a majority of voters in Scotland. Get Brexit done. Make Brexit work. But it doesn't have to be like this. There is now a pro-independent Scottish government with a majority in the Scottish Parliament elected by the people of Scotland. They are in favour of giving people the choice of independence through a referendum. Independence will put the power to decide Scotland's future in Scotland's hands with decisions made by governments the people of Scotland have voted for. Pledge your support for Scottish independence at yes.scot.